Hello friends, so today in this video we are going to talk about effect of gyroscopic cable on an aeroplane. So what happens to the aeroplane when it moves, uh, when it uh, takes a left turn or it takes a right turn or when its uh, rotor is rotating clockwise or it is rotating anti-clockwise then what is the effect on the aeroplane and uh, what does um, happens to its nose or what does it happens to its tail ok. So let us check it out. So there are few points that we need to consider before going to this topic ok. So first point is that uh, the airplane is viewed from the rear side ok. This is the rear view and this is the front view. You can either uh, do it from the front view but uh, in the most questions it is considered to be it is viewed from the uh, rear view ok. So we will consider rear and the airplane is taking a left hand ok. So um, first we will talk uh, the general formation for this but uh, after uh, after completing this I will explain it to you with a trick ok. So stay tuned for the trick ok. So let us assume that it is viewed from the rear end ok and uh, uh, this rotor propeller is rotating clockwise ok and the uh, next thing is it is taking a left turn ok. So what will happen to the airplane when it will take left turn and rotating clockwise. One thing also you need to know that uh, how it will rotate clockwise ok. So when viewed from the rear end then what will happen the it will rotate anti clockwise if, if you see from the front. So it should be like this ok. So it will rotate anti clockwise like this. So if you see from the rear end it will be clockwise in this direction ok. So do not get confused of that. Now say this is the angular momentum OX. Now when it is taking left turn then its gyroscopy couple will be will change its direction ok. So this is near one OX dash. So it is taking left turn. Now what happens to it? So suppose this is the aeroplane ok and now it is uh, if you know right hand thumb rule you need to first know about right hand thumb rule ok. So I will explain it in the same example. So suppose this is the aeroplane and it is taking left turn ok. This is the nose and this is the tail. Now what happens it is taking the left turn now it will uh, turn around left you can see this. So take your hand like this and this is the direction this thumb is the direction and this is the direction of rotation of rotor or propeller. Now when it is taking left turn then what will happen say this side is nose ok. Uh, let me turn this diagram ok. So this is the aeroplane now it is taking left turn ok. So what will happen uh, it is uh, it's its direction will change. Now uh, my fingers will uh, show the direction of active gyroscopic couple ok. So this is the direction of active gyroscopic couple and it is the direction of uh, airplane where it is moving. So uh, due to the uh, so as this is the active gyroscopic couple then the uh, direction will be upward. So due to this reactive couple uh, the reaction will be upward. So due to the reaction the nose will up. So uh, once again I will explain it to you. Once again suppose this is the nose of the aeroplane ok and this is the tail of the aeroplane. Now, uh, now what is happening? My thumb or nose is taking left turn ok. So uh, it, is, it is changing the direction. Now what will happen? This is the active uh, this is active couple and due to this action the reaction is upward ok. So due to that reaction the nose will uh, up or raise ok. So if you got that then thank you and this is the case for the uh, clockwise direction and the fan is taking left turn. So what will happen in the first case it will uh, nose will nose will raise and tail will dip ok. So this was case 1 now case second what will happen if you take the right turn ok. Now again it is rotating clockwise and it is taking a right turn. Now let us go back to the diagram again. Now this is again the airplane. Now it is taking right turn ok. It is taking right turn. Now suppose this is again the direction the thumb is the direction of the uh, airplane. Now it is taking right turn. Now what will happen the action active couple will act and downward to the uh, tail and the reactive couple will be upward to the tail. So what will happen tail will raise the due to the reaction tail will raise and nose will dip. So this is the second case. 
for the clockwise direction right turn uh, nose well dip and tail wheel raise and if you take uh, the anti clockwise then again it will uh, it will be in this direction it will be anti clockwise direction if it is viewed from the rand, rear end okay so you can do it by yourself uh, because it is not easy to show in this uh, 2d manner okay so i will only explain it to the um, three um, other two points with the third case it is rotating anti clockwise and uh, it is taking left turn now what will happen it will be exactly opposite to the clockwise case okay so in clockwise case uh, the nose wa was raising and tail was uh, dipping so in anti clockwise and taking left turn case what will happen nose will dip and tail will raise it is the it is the vice versa of that okay so nose will dip and tail will raise okay now again the fourth case when it is uh, rotating anti clockwise and taking right turn what will happen uh, nose will here nose is dipping so here nose will raise and tail will dip now let us discuss two other cases when it is seen from the front end okay so what will happen when it is seen from the front end uh, the it is considered that uh, propeller is taking it is turning in clockwise direction okay cw clockwise direction and uh, it is seen from the front end then what will happen to the uh, nose and the tail the reactive gyroscopic couple will a reactive gyroscopic couple will raise the nose and dip the tail dip the tail again same condition uh, clockwise seen from front end in, in this it was taking left turn and in this it will take right turn okay so from the front end and taking a right turn what will happen the reactive gyroscopic couple will raise the tail and dip the nose so this is the case so in the beginning of the video i have told you that i will show you a trick so the trick is uh, suppose this is turning in the clockwise direction okay so from the rear end when it is viewed from the rear end and it is turning in clockwise direction okay so the arrows will be like this it is turning clockwise direction and suppose it is taking left turn okay so it its arrow will be upward it is taking left turn now this is the case if the arrows are in if arrows or directions are in opposite direction okay then in that case always nose will raise and uh, tail will dip and again suppose it is uh, turning rotating clockwise and it is taking right turn okay so its nose will uh, its direction arrow direction will be uh, in the same directions okay so when arrows are in or directions are in arrows are in same direction then what will happen nose will dip and tail will raise always okay so this is the case when again when it is seen from the front side you can also do that suppose this is rotating clockwise okay and it is taking left turn so this is a rotating clockwise from from when seen from the front side and uh, when it is taking left turn so the arrows are in the same direction so in that case what is happening uh, when it is taking left turn raises no, nose raises okay so here it is the case you can see that and when uh, dip the tail now it will dip the tail this is the case now when uh, it is taking a right turn then it will be in the opposite directions so you can see that it is same as 
what we have done using the angular momentum method so this is the trick thank you for watching if you find this video helpful then give a thumbs up and do share this video thank you for watching